And it is to this, dear hearts, that I come to mentor you this day. Your own life experiences have taught to awaken and strengthen a consciousness, a good consciousness of character. And I will trust that many of your own experiences in the outer world have been enough of a whipping to encourage you to build a strong sense of character. Qualities noble and on high that are so important to you. They are vitally important to you. They must become intrinsic to your way of life. For as Mother Akasha decrees, the rose pink rays and flames from the central sun be woven into the fabric of what you have come to understand your outer self. It will immediately activate the universal cosmic laws of attraction, opening the way whereby your continued studies, your activations, your love and adoration to life, your own presence, and the pouring forth of love will truly set into action the powers of your beloved I Am Presence to be released into yourselves and your life. For this, there is something that I mentored the four children. Today, those children are ascended. You know of them as Pearl and Bob and Rex and Nada. Most often, our beloved Queen of Heaven opens the way for these beloved children ascended and free to greet you through the live stream of Mother Akasha's second messenger, Excalibur, where they may offer their love as such magnificent Ascended Master Youth. Other than the usual pranks of the young boys that I had not been accustomed to, yet warned by their guardian, who was the mighty Saint Germain, and as I then became accustomed to those pranks, those boyish pranks, and knew what I needed to do to allow these things a little, and then to get them to settle down into their serious study. And one of the first things that I taught the children, and it's going to be so important, blessed students, as you open in the seventh golden age, as Mother Akasha decrees the universal, and that means from the center of the universe, the great central sun's magnet's presence of which only one flame is used, the rose pink flame, to draw everything good into your lives, to draw you into the higher vibration of your higher mental body, and then to draw down into you the powers of your own I Am Presence. As I said to the children in those early days, and that is, there must be in every one of you there must be a spiritual integrity and honor in the use of the powers of God. You are upon a journey home. First, 
discovering your own inner God self, your own inner God nature, and then discovering your higher self that is the source of your life on earth, of what we teach you is properly referred to as your beloved I Am Presence. Your years in the outer world, your experiences behind you, were intended to cultivate not only in this embodiment, but in past embodiments. To cultivate within you so that it was fully present when there are no further delays. Your ability to draw forth the powers of the I Am Presence and all its perfection into your lives. I ask you to remember this. There must be complete spiritual integrity and honor in the use of the powers that your I Am Presence will release to you and through you in the days ahead. Let me now take you into your future. You are beyond the ascension. You are not only ascended beings you have bypassed all zones of time and space, your ascendancy, your love and praise of life have caused you to be raised into a stature, a term that we refer to as great cosmic beings. Jesus the Christ, Lord Metatron, mighty victory, the great divine director, the queen of light, you have the idea. Imagine, dear hearts, that that future time does exist beyond time, that future moment, and you are great cosmic beings. You have studied, you have applied your studies, you have meditated, you have poured love, you have entered into an adoration and praise of life. Life has raised you and given you your freedom. Your continued studies in the Ascended Master realms, doing what Ascended Masters do, living the Ascended Master's way of life, and what is that way of life. To give and give and give. First, loving adoration to their own God I Am presence. And then, to build and expand their love of perfection inside them and to release it and send it forth everywhere to everybody. And in the great outpouring of love and perfection, do the ascended ones raise, rise in their stature? Do they begin to specialize in universal qualities? until they become great cosmic beings. In this journey of leaving behind the human, becoming the divine beings you always were, journeying home to your I Am Presence by giving the outer selves that appear back to your presence. For a time, being the vessel, being the instrument, 
where the presence can express through you. And this journey of your resurrection, your service upon the earth as Christ beings, your ascension, your life as an ascended being, your evolution into a great cosmic being where you know the totality of life in this one statement. To send out divine love all the time is the whole of universal law applied. All of that is in your ascended consciousness. The omniscience of your being, the omnipotence of your endless power, the omnipresence of your being to be in all places simultaneously. You have incorporated, you have become this mightiest of universal truths. So simple. So simple that I can see even in your present state of enlightenment, every one of you has the ability to at least understand the basics of this mighty statement to send out divine love all the time is the whole of universal law applied. Isn't that wonderful? If there was any gift that I could give you would be to encourage you memorize this mighty statement of truth speak it out at times and other times meditate quietly speak it quietly inside yourself to send out divine love all the time is the whole, that's W-H-O-L-E, is the whole of universal law applied. Speak it inwardly. Give it to the great inner knowingness, the lantern of light inside your heart. Ask the master presence that abides in your heart to teach you more to expand, to give you what is beyond the mind. The mind, my precious students, will give you understanding. But there is that which is beyond understanding. It has depth. It has no boundaries. It is what the feeling gives you. It is comprehension. Invite your heart, your feeling side of life to give you the deep comprehension of this magnificent statement. Ask yourself, let me say it again, watch your feelings. Listen to your heart. And after I say it again, ask yourself, how do I feel hearing this wonderful news? To send out divine love all the time is the whole of universal law applied. How does that make you feel? It ought to be wonderful yes. and more. Yes. So how quick is the journey 
from where you are in life now, the center of your being, your consciousness, your knowingness, the life you know yourself to be, to that day you will be a resurrected Christ being serving on the earth, demonstrating the powers of God. Your service complete, you leave the world and come to live with us in the ascended realms. You serve as an ascended being beyond the confines and restraints of time. And you grow in stature as the depths and the no boundaries of omniscience and omnipresence and omnipotence birth within the entirety of your being. You experience the Alpha. You experience the Omega. You experience the nanoparticle of the universe. You experience the totality of it. How is all of this achieved? By quickly understanding, then comprehending, and putting it into action. The sending out of divine love all the time is the whole the totality of universal law applied. Universal law, the function of our universe. Isn't that amazing? So, I will ask it for you so that you don't have to ask the question. The human intellect, void of any kind of enlightenment, might say, well, as an unascended being on the earth, how am I going to send out divine love all the time? I've got things to do. I have a busy life. Ah, dear hearts. Let us be mechanical and simple with it. You have the modernization of technology. You can put on a record player and then, uh, forgive me, <laughs> the last time I've had this kind of a conversation with people, we were moving through wires and tape machines and the invention of record players. Well, simply say, you can place, you can put on, you have modern devices today, and you can turn the device on, and then you can go on about your day. You can put on some beautiful music that you've programmed into your modern day nano machines, and then you can go on about your day, and the music is playing. Is it not? Yes. Well, precious hearts, you have come a long way. The mass of the people who are unawakened, they have one or two chambers in their hearts. Of nine, they have one or two that is open. And what we call the sacred cell, the super electron, it is holding life and it is pouring some love, but it is not yet a sacred and holy flame. It is not burst into the living flame. That comes with enlightenment. For before there is enlightenment, there must be desire. A desire to reach up, to ask the wonderful questions. Who am I? Where did I come from? 
Does my life come with purpose and meaning? Are the gods of the religions real? Is there more? One cannot ask any question without desire behind those questions. A desire to know. And it is desire, as your beloved godparents have taught you, it is desire that fans the super electron in the heart and bursts it into a flame. The mass of the people do not even have this yet. Their hearts are opening and you are seeing the difference. Today, the great majority of the mass of the people are constructive. Even though there are negative or selfish strains that act up here and there. Do you understand? So, you have the living flame. You have achieved this in your enlightenment. It is burning brightly in your heart. You have heard it is a flame of divine love. You have heard you are the director. You are the director of the life the I Am Presence gives you to live on earth. You, through the use of your mind, your attention, you have the power, it is your right, to direct life. How do I pour divine love all the time? This would be very unfair for us to teach these people, to teach these things, forgive me, to one who has not begun their path of awakening. For one who has not begun this great path probably does not have the flame of divine love active within their heart. And when you come this way, blessed hearts, and that flame is burning in your heart, you have the power, just as you can, to turn on a record player or a music machine and then have music playing as you go on about your day or go on about your errands. You have the power to program that flame of divine love to pour its love all of the time while you go on with the demands and the activities of the outer life. Do you understand? Yes. Now let me further something that I see has slipped out of your mind. That's what the human intellect does. It doesn't want you to remember these things. Sometimes you read something, you go, oh my goodness, how did I, could I forget that? So, what is the next? I have shared with you. To send out divine love all the time is the whole of all universal law applied. Now let me add the next to it. There must be, for any student of life, there must be a pouring of divine love before the I Am Presence can begin to express its perfection through the student that that energy of perfection then creates the things that the student desires and requires. Third, the I Am Presence. Every one of you have an I Am Presence. It will never end, even as a great cosmic being. Your I Am Presence is evolving like you. You are your I Am Presence. Your I Am Presence is you. Let not these words confound you. Rather understand. 
that you have covered over yourself with something else and you are upon the great business of unveiling yourself, coming into relationship with yourself, and one day ahead of you, one day in your life, in your resurrection, you will have the most sublime and magnificent experience that every prophet, every Christ, every Buddha, every initiate studying the truth of life, you will have the experience. It's a covenant. It comes with the journey home. You are raised. The sacred fires of purification are cleansing all the substance inside you. Your faculties are raised. And in a moment, and I ask you to remember this, because there are practice moments that come before the real moment. But the real moment, precious hearts, is a moment in which inside you is such a strong feeling that surges forth in you to drop to your knees and praise God. To praise Mother, Father, God, and to praise your own individualized God source. The feeling, the surge, the compulsion to just drop to your knees and to praise life in giving you life is overwhelming. This moment shall come for each of you. It is a covenant. And it is the revelation and it is the fulfillment of those mighty words. I am that I am. It is a moment you will be pre prepared for. If you practice taking moments to praise life that is greater than yourself, this practicing and a willingness to praise life that is greater than yourself will draw the, the sublime moment, the covenant that I speak of, it will draw that moment closer to you. The children that I taught had the experience Mr. Ballard and gathering in their sacred rooms suddenly dropped to his knees the tears flowing from his eyes as the most beautiful praise came forth from him to life. And when he finished, the other children, Bob and Nada, joined in. And such sacred prayers to life and God poured. Of course, moments before this, as they had gathered in the tower room, an electrifying presence thrilled the air. The peace that passeth all understanding was a vibration so real, so palpable. And it drew that desire within them. God's source in their heart, praising God. It is a moment that comes to you. And that moment will surge such a strong river of adoration and feelings inside you and you will drop to your knees and tears will flow from you. The deep realization you have been given life and that desire to send forth adoration and praise. And in that moment of rippling God's sensation through your being, 
All the air is electrified and rarefied all around you. Your sight is raised. Your eyes become violet. Your head is compelled to draw upwards and with eyes, with ascended master eyes, you see your beloved I am presence out in front of you, eight to 12 feet up in the atmosphere. Just as you see the presence shown in the chart, you see this glorious being in which prophets in the past by intervention have had this great experience and wrongly perceived it was the guardian angel. But then the words forced through the voice box, the awareness of seeing this glorious presence, the great I am of you. And the only words that come out of you. I am that I am. That is the I am presence that I am. This is the truth of my being. This is the fulfillment of the most mystical words. I am that I am. Words that every prophet, every mystic is compelled to speak when you're eyes are raised and your sight is open. You're almost home, blessed hearts. Whatever time you have left upon the earth is God's time. God, your I am presence will desire to release its perfection long has your beloved I am presence been absent in this world. The people of earth have compelled their own God divinity to create and release and expand its creative forces of perfection in the upper realms of light and the ascended master's octave. The Ascended Masters are quite capable of creating their own perfection. Where the I Am Presence is most required is in your octave. Know this truth, blessed hearts. Your beloved I Am Presence never sleeps. It is the individualization of Mother, Father, God. Yes, it merges with the universal I am. It too comes to the well of life to be renewed. But your I am presence works ceaselessly, releasing and expanding creative forces of perfection throughout the universe, interstellar space, sometimes working in other systems of worlds. And if you're at all sensitive, if your presence is working in the Orion system, you'll have a funny feeling that you're from Orion. This is the day that you are moving towards in the seventh golden age. And you must be in covenant with yourself that I will always be in great God honor and integrity as my beloved I am presence begins to release its creative forces of perfection through this outer self and into this world. And let me remember with my little lesson with Leto two things today to send out love all of the time 
is the whole of universal law applied. And then to realize, wait a minute, by my own efforts, by divine intervention, that sacred and holy flame of divine love that is the source of light, the source of love, it's active in my heart. I understand. I can commune with that inner flame inside my heart. O great love flame, thou abideth upon the sacred altar of my heart. You are ready for me to program and direct your activity of the day. And before I go on with my day, I come to commune with you, to be one with you, to be acknowledging you, loving you, adoring you, praising that your presence is active in my heart. O great love flame within the heart of hearts, I just love you. And I just love to direct your endless rays of love to the world. And then you think about the things that are important to you. Individually, nationally, in your nations, and things upon a world stage that you would like to program your unfed flame. Mighty unfed flame of God within my heart. Great flame of divine love. Before I go on with my day, I call upon you to release hundreds of thousands, endless rhythmic waves of divine love into the atmosphere of earth, the structure of our planet, the powers of nature, the forces of the elements, and to into all life that grows upon this planet. Until I return my attention to you, I might come back in six hours or it might be tomorrow morning that I'll return my attention to you. But until then, keep pouring forth your divine love into all the places Life gives you an opportunity. Life gives you the right to direct love as you see fit. You only have one direct source of divine love. It will take greater evolution on your part, greater attainment. The moment will come, but it will take greater attainment for you to direct the steely white rays of your I am presence. Wait not. When the lantern of light is within your heart, divine love is indeed a feeling. Yet more, it is a ray of light that can be directed from a love flame. It will always produce perfection. When it passes through destruction, it will melt that destruction. If the destruction resists, the evil within that destruction is compelled to destroy itself. These are universal laws. Now you have a relationship with your I Am Presence. It has been accepted deep within your being. And now for you to really connect this piece. What does it take for the perfection of your I Am Presence 
to be released into you and out into your world such energies and forces of perfection that will naturally naturally the all intelligence the all power the all light and love within that will naturally within that perfection will naturally produce everything you desire and require the master saith to you there can be a presence that goeth before you and doeth all things this presence is the perfection of your I am presence a good and worthy question on your part how do I get the perfection of my beloved I am presence pouring down through me and out into my world because it is the perfection of the presence that produces the things I desire and require and even before I know that I desire and require those things so again the question is how do I get the perfection of my own beloved presence pouring down through this outer self and releasing into form and manifestation the things that I desire and require? The answer is in the universal truth I just shared with you. The sending out of divine love all the time is the whole of the law applied. First must be the sending forth of divine love. The way is opened now for the perfection of your own God divinity to release through you and become the things you desire and require even before you know you desire and require those things. Mother Akasha, I must impress her that I am a good teacher so that I can come with you and be with you for a half hour and be with maybe two truths and just explain them a little deeper that you may have the aha I think I'd like to work with that how has class one been wow my goodness thank you thank you thank you so I will just say this that inner flame within your heart it's a master presence it's all-knowing all-loving all-powerful it listens to you it listens to you dear heart and you can program that flame so that it's pouring its divine love all the time as you go on about your day but that does require that before you go out into your day that you do take those precious loving moments and really try to enter into feelings of love and adoration and as the Sun has taught you acknowledge and accept this beautiful presence inside you enter into a rapture of love with it and be so grateful that you now have a source of divine love anchored in your physical body through your heart I will finish with this to the one that will pour forth this ray of light this divine love all the time nothing is impossible for you nothing is impossible Saint Germain desired that all of you would know as you read the story of the four children I did not know 
as those children were placed in my care and I began teaching them as they sailed to India, I had no idea that they would be taken to their freedom in the ascension. My goodness, some of them were teenagers still. I did not know this. And that is why we say, even us as ascended beings, who is to say what God will do for you, in you, and through you? Not even we know when that moment strikes. Live for that moment, precious hearts. Realize what you have right here in your hearts before you go on with your day. Program that flame. Really get feeling and acknowledging and loving and really program that flame to be pouring divine love into everything and everyone. Be like we are. We do not discriminate divine love. We do not say, oh, that's a bad person. Well, if there's bad people, they need more divine love maybe even than you do, dear hearts. But you also get to direct it and be specific into your homes, your loved ones. Because soon when you do it every day, you will have all the proof before you why you never again will have to worry or be concerned about your children or your loved ones because you are sending that divine love which is all-knowing, all-loving, all-abundant, all-powerful, all-healing, all-present, and on and on. I could go on all night talking to you about the all qualities of that flame of love. Be creative. Be in a place of discovery. All I've done is offer you a little understanding. Bring your own beautiful creativity. Can I pour it here? Yes. Can I pour it there? Yes. Can I direct it to something specific? Yes. Can I pour it into the oceans? I love the oceans and there's many who su suffer, beautiful beings suffer in the oceans. Can I pour love there? Yes. But at this point, that flame and you still have to have a stronger relationship. So you can't pull one off, dear students. Don't be like the young boys and say, well, I'll just program it to pour love for the next 40 years. <laughs> no, no, dear hearts. Because guess what? For your flame to pour love, it needs your love. It needs your loving acknowledgement. And pour it into projects. Pour it into your careers. Pour it to your loved ones. Pour it to the student body of the academy. Have I served you today? Take this into your dreams this evening to send out love, to send out divine love all the time is the whole of universal law applied. And just take that in deep, dear hearts. And I think that with my presence with you, I return next week my idea is to get you ready that when Akasha gives her nine fiats, nine decrees upon becoming Ascended Master Elect, they go to work immediately for all of you. And dear hearts, it is a tragedy to bring a student and you think they're ready. To bring a student to the wellspring of life where the powers of life are pouring through them. And eight, nine months later, you hear that the power has dried up and stopped flowing. And we look and we see that the student tried to use that power in some sensational way for some, for some personal outcome. The release of the great God powers must always be for the permanent 
good of all. And when that is in motion, everything in your life gets taken care of. So you don't even have to direct it into your own life. Because this opens the way for the perfection to flow, and in the perfection that flows from your presence are the things you desire and require. I have really enjoyed taking on my role as a former teacher. And well, I'm very good, I feel, in taking two, three thoughts and going deep with them so that I can impress these things so that when you return to your homes, you can immediately apply them and as days turn into weeks, begin to enjoy the magnificent blessings that will unfold. God bless you. I am Leto. I come from the house of Maitreya. And therefore, as we once said in the great land of India, Namaste, blessed hearts.